Okay, here she is, yanked her out. Got her here on the stand, just uh, doing a few things, cleaning a few things up. Um, delete the AC. Just gotta get that belt tomorrow to work and make sure that it's going, everything's going to be okay. But the uh, remain seal looking good. It's in good shape. Very dry around the head gasket. Look very, very good. Very, very good. But uh, let's go ahead and check out. This is the factory dual mass. I had a uh, resurface to use um, this clutch. Um, it's a South Bend Stage 3. You can see she got pretty hot. Um, this one is only rated for like 425 foot pound. Um, and uh, that's really just because it's using the dual mass flywheel so if you want to go over like 500 horsepower you know just go ahead and uh, upgrade and get that single get that lightweight flywheel such as this one right here big big difference see i already got the uh pilot bearing in there so this is for the 7a that's why the pilot bearing looks different than that one what a nice nice piece of Got the shorter bolts. This is the South Bend uh, stage number four. Um, this is the strongest one they make for the 7A 2.3. So this is the uh, four puck. Look at that bad boy. Ooh. Super strong. And of course the metal throwout bearing of course. So this should be able to handle um, 600 plus uh, torque. So shouldn't have any issues with the clutch this year overheating like this one did, obviously. Just uh, working it too much. Um, anything past 32 PSI and it was like, no. But uh, here we go. Um, painted the uh, exhaust manifold this year. Um, I painted and bake. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. Um, just kind of wanted to try something new. Never done the, the paint, so figure what the hell. Try it out. And uh, got these bad boys to go on here. Because, you know, all that top-end power got to slow down. But uh, I got the uh, the red stuff to go with it. So try these bad boys out this year. See what, uh, see what they can do. Um, I got the rotors, too. I just don't have them uh, right here unboxed or anything. But... Uh, yeah, I got the car outside right now. I guess I'll go ahead and show that. So, um, I've already got it back in, but I went ahead and took everything out. Um, I took the subframe out. Uh, redo the, these uh, subframe bushing. It was a brand new both side. And then the bushing, there's one in the frame right there. So I do all four of the subframe bushing. Um, clean up the transmission a little bit. I still got to change the throttle bearing out while I got the engine out. And just, you know, power wash the engine bay. All this, all the nook and cranny is nice and clean. Because, you know, unfortunately Fred is no longer with us. So he, you know, he's not helping me with that anymore. But we miss you, Fred. Rest in peace, buddy. But yeah. Here she is. Figure I'd just uh, take a short little video before I uh, slap it back in, just so you guys could see. But that's pretty much it. Um, just got her back together, like I said. Roll her out, clean her up, and um, away we go. So, okay, here she is in all of her glory. Just do a quick little walk around for you guys. Check her out a little bit. Just got her running a few days ago. Just wanted to get uh, get it running so I could get the clutch broken in before I start turning up the boost. Want to get these brakes nice and broken in. Got about 250 mile on her. So, got the, the booster set down like 7, 8 PSI just to, you know, break her in. Got a few modifications. Got a new wheel 
three spoke uh, from Europe. Very, very nice. Got that uh, refurbished leather. Feels good. Pop the bonnet. Let's go check under there, see what we got. So, just to get it running, like I said, got just a regular intake on here with the regular inlet pipe. Um, no blow off valve. I have a hard pipe that goes all the way to there, but it only work only going to work when I get the, the intake back. So for now, I just have to run low boosts and do that. I uh, got the FIC 1200cc injector, got the five bar fuel pressure regulator. So it's like roughly like 1500 plus cc of fuel. Got the still factory whisket, but uh, got a, made a uh, open dump for it. So you can see it goes down there separate from the downpipe and exits out right at the bottom. Uh, turbo, um, I did uh, a different billet wheel and um, this is six blade. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I also did uh, to accommodate the T51 R mod right here. I know some of you guys know what that is, but um, I'll go ahead and uh, take it for a drive on low boost now just uh, so you guys can hear the car. And then when I get uh, the intake in, like I said, we're going to turn that boost up and we're going to go for a ride. But yeah, she's doing good. Thanks for all the, the feedback and the input. Appreciate everybody. But um, let's uh, let's go for a drive. What do you say? Okay, here we go. Let's get this bad boy pulled up here. I always like to bring you guys along for a log. It's only on, I think like eight psi, nine psi. Just breaking in the clutch. Exhaust 
house is definitely a little bit louder. Screaming. 